Today on MTG Unpacked, we have a fantastic feast for patrons. So we've got two packs of Jumpstart, everything in the standard format along with Mystery Booster and Modern Horizons. So let's introduce the patrons. We have Ziggy Storm, Sundance Kid, Janelle Mondragon, Tony Siriani, and finally David Griffiths. So let's see here. So David and Tony getting one jump start each. And let's see, Mystery Booster goes to, uh, where is he? Over here, Sundance Kid. And Janelle gets the Modern Horizons. Okay, so let's scoop it all up and pop these over here for Ziggy Storm. All right, so without further ado, let's get into it. We'll start off here. Tony Siriani, thank you for being a patron. So these are actually my last two packs of Jumpstart. So very lucky to have them. And Tony will actually be getting everything in the pack here. So a complete half of a deck. Okay, so Legion is the first one here. Let's boost that lighting a tad. Okay, so what do we have here? We've got a Blessed Sanctuary Enchantment for 5. Prevent all non-combat damage that will be dealt to you and creatures you control. And whenever a non-token creature enters the battlefield under your control, create a 2-2 two -two white unicorn creature token. Nice. And next up we have Selfless Saviour. Falcon Adept. Path to Exile. There's another spicy one. Basri Solidarity. Valorous Steed. Daybreak Charger. Mateship Battalion, Inspired Charge, Knight of the Tusk, Legion's Judgment, Thriving Heath, Raise the Alarm, and then we get, okay, so this is the Legion Land, and then we just get a whole heap of regular basics, so nothing too exciting there. Alright, so enjoy that, Tony, I'll tuck these in here for you, sir. And move on, okay, let's do David next. Thank you for being a patron. So hopefully we can get something here for you that you don't already have. I think we did a couple of these for you last month. So good luck, sir. And at some point I'll learn how to open these packs. So really sealed up tight. And David will be getting everything in here as per usual. Okay, oh, unicorns, this, I have been looking for this one for ages. You, sir, are very lucky. Okay, unicorns, we get a mythic. Emil the Blessed, legendary creature unicorn, 4-4 four, for four, 4. So you pay 3, exile another target creature you control, then return it to the battlefield under its owner's control. And whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, you may pay white or green. If you do put a plus one, plus one counter on it, and if it's Unicorn, put two plus one plus one counters on it instead. Fantastic pull here, and a rare Blessed Sanctuary Enchantment 5. Prevent all non combat damage that will be dealt to you and creatures you control. And whenever a non token creature enters the battlefield under your control, create a 2 2 white Unicorn creature token. Fantastic. And next up, we have more Unicorns Bright Mare, Faith's Fetters, Inspiring Unicorn. Valorous Stance, Valorous Steed, Daybreak Charger, Cloud Shift, Inspired Charge, Mesa Unicorn with the best unicorn hair ever, Runom Unicorn, Thriving Heath, and a Unicorn Land. Check it out. Fantastic. And a whole bunch of basics. That is incredible. So, very jealous of David there. Let's pop this in here. So, this is the one... I think the only deck or half deck that does not have any variants. Let's say Unicorn, very unique. Okay, next up we have Ziggy Storm. Thank you for being a patron. So Ziggy will get all the rares, mythics, foils, and anything over a buck. And off to a great start with a Weaselbat Redcap Creature Goblin Knight. Yes, we do love the goblins. Prized Griffin, Mantle of Tides, Chuan Vale Tree Folk. Reaper of Night, Stillgaze Griffin, Wildwood Tracker, Scorching Dragonfire, Jousting Dummy, and Uncommon Sir Cara the Bold, Kenrith's Transformation, Fairy Vandal, and oh, nice! 
Emery, Lurker of the Lock, is a rare legendary creature Merfolk Wizard 1, 2, 3. So the spell costs one less cards for each artifact you control. And when Emery enters the battlefield, put the top four cards of your library into your graveyard. You can tap choose target artifact card in your graveyard. You may cast that card this turn. Good deal. Let's move that over there. And a foil Queen of Ice. My lighting set up. There we go. Fantastic. And a Plains and Human Rogue token. Okay, next up, Core 2020. So a bunch of this stuff will be cycling out of standard in another, what, another month or so? Two months? Okay, next up we have Moorland Inquisitor, Fairy Miscreant, Ripscale Predator, Disenchant, Vorst Claw, Epicure of Blood, Netcaster Spider, Befuddle, Murder, Dawning Angel, and Uncommon's Veil of Summer. I think it's still over a buck despite the ban. Flame Sweep, Overcome, and Rare is Hanged Executioner. Creature Spirit 1-1 one, one for 3 with flying. So when I enter Spiderfield, create a 1-1 one, one white spirit creature token with flying. And for 3 and a white, Exile Hanged Executioner, you get to Exile Target Creature. And a Dismal Backwater and Soldier Token. On to some War of the Spark here. So hoping to pull a Mythic Planeswalker. So just this lighting just a tad. Okay, we've got a Pouncing Lynx, Sky Theater Strix, Goblin Assailant, Creature Goblin Warrior, nice. Charity Extractor, New Horizons, Avon Eternal, Sarkhan's Catharsis, Bloom Hulk, Sahelia's Silverwing, Obnixilus's Cruelty, and Uncommon's D Spark. Price of Betrayal, Obnixilus the Hate Twisted is your planeswalker. And rare is Parhelion 2. Yeah! Legendary artifact vehicle. Everybody loves it. 5548 with flying first strike vigilance. Whenever it attacks, credit 244. White Angel creature tokens with flying and vigilance that are attacking, and you can crew it for four. Okay, moving on. Swamp and a zombie army. And who is looking forward to double masters? So, unlike seemingly every other YouTube channel, I have to wait like everybody else. So, on, uh, let's see, Friday or Saturday, hopefully, we'll be starting with the Double Masters Madness. Stay tuned for that. Next up, we have Skyline Scout, Passwall Adept, Veiled Shade, and this is Guilds of Ravnica, by the way, Vigor Spore Worm, Hammer Dropper, Demir Locket, Luminous Bonds, Candlelight Vigil, Fist and Fist Cyclops, Pitiless Gorgon, and Uncommon Zunder City Necrolisk, Legion Guild Mage, Grappling Sundu, and Rare, yes, Legion Warboss, Creature Goblin Soldier, 2-2 two, two for 3 with Mentor. Beginning of combat on your turn, create a 1-1 one, one Red Goblin Creature Token, that token gains haste into end of turn, and attacks this combat if able. Nice one, Golgari, Gulgate, and a Soldier. On to some Allegiance. So which of the sets in this video is your favourite? Is there any set other than Alpha, Beta or anything ridiculously expensive that you would like to see on the channel? Leave a note in the comments section. Okay, next up we have Arrestazil, Slimebind, Savage Smash, Gift of Strength, Thirsting Shade, Rubble Reading, Blade Juggler, Watchful Giant, Final Payment, Uncommons Bankrupt in Blood, fantastic Seb McKinnon artwork as always, Pitiless Pontiff, Drill Bit, and this was not me at the dentist, no it was not, and the rare is Absorb, instant for three, can't attack it spell, you gain three life, and a foil, Imperious Oligarch, with a Simic Gilgate, and a Human Token, okay, so on to some Theros, Still hunting for the Titans. Where are you? I would settle for uh, Kroxa or Uro. Either one is fine by me. We get a wall, a plains, and the rare is Gravebreaker Lamia. Enchantment Creature Snake Lamia 4 4 for 5 with lifelink. So when it ends Spadfield, search your library for a card, put it into your graveyard, then shuffle your library. Spells you cast from your graveyard cost one less to cast. An Uncommon's Nessian Horn Beetle, Phalanx Tactics. Underworld Fires and Thriller Possibility for the Common Stormaturge's Familiar Naiad of Hidden Coves. Hyrax Tower Scout, Captivating Unicorn. Speaking of unicorns, 
Stern Dismissal, Towering Wave, Mystic, Return to Nature, Grim Physician, and Gift of Strength. What on earth are you? Your tail looks a little bit like the tail of my cat, but your face is nowhere near as cute. That is a very disturbing beast indeed. If you know what it is, leave a note in the comments section. Uh, scientists are totally baffled. On to court 2021. Okay, we got an angel token, an island, nice one. I'll chuck that in as well. And the rare is Radha, Heart of Keld, Legendary Creature, Elphoria 333. Three, three. As long as it's your turn, Radha of Keld has first strike. You may look at the top card of your library anytime you play lands from the top of your library for four red and green. Radha gets plus X, plus X on two end of turn where X is the number of lands you control. And another rare, holy moly, I've seen this sometimes. I'm not sure why they do that. Containment Priest, Creature Human Cleric 222 with the uh, Borderless Showcase artwork here. Flash, if a non-token creature would enter battlefield and it wasn't cast, exile it instead. Good deal. Silver's Moat Ghoul for the Uncommons, Tormod's Crypt, Shipwreck Dowser, and the Commons Frost Breath Duress. Radiant Fountain, Keen Glide Master, Anointed Chorister, Furor of the Bitten, Run afoul, Spell Gorge Weird, and Liliana's Steward. Okay, on to Ikoria. Look into his eyes. What do you see? I see malicious intent. I would be careful if I were you. The prickly marmoset knows no bounds. Okay, we have an imposing Vantasaur, Gust of Wind, Ferocious Tigerilla, Fully Grown. Durable Coilbug, Day Squad Marshal, Farfinder, Excavation Mole, Suffocating Fumes, an Uncorn Sprite Dragon, I'll chuck that in as well, Survey Thundermane, Unbreakable Bond, and the rare, nice, Savai Triome. It's a land, mountain, plain, swamp, so you can tap it for red, white, or black, and Spadfield Tap, cycle it for three, and a foil, Tentative Connection, a touching scene between a uh, I nearly said a Planeswalker, but no, I mean a Pokemon and its trainer. And a Bloodfill Caves and Human Soldier. Okay, so there we are, Ziggy Storm. You've got quite a bumper crop there, sir, this month. So, pop these in here. And who is next? It is Janelle Mondragon. Thank you for being a patron. So, we continue the hunt for Ren and Stimpy. I would like to see them today. I don't like the chances, but let's keep our fingers crossed. We've got a zombie, a goblin matron, okay, and a snow-covered forest, so check that in as well. Foil, tornado, and the rare spiteful sliver. Creature sliver 223, sliver creatures you control have. Whenever this creature is dealt damage, it deals that much damage to target player or planeswalker. And uncommons, we have farmstead gleaner, lesser master core. Firebolt, and the commons Gilded Light, Trumpeting Herd, Rocks Veteran, Weather the Storm, Esmera Smoke Shaper, Thornado, String of Disappearances, Lava Dart, and Martyr's Soul. Okay, so we'll tuck these in here, a few Janelle, and finally, we have Sundance Kid with a Mystery Booster. And I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings and be sure to tap notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. And like I said, Double Masters coming up real soon along with some VIP packs. Can't wait. Okay, we got a Cathar's Companion, Felidar Umbra, River Serpent, Compelling Argument, Tragic Slip, Blighted Bat, and I will be checking the prices of these during editing, so if I miss something, We'll certainly tuck that aside for Sundance Kid. We've got Swashbuckling, Crown Hunter Hireling, Deathhood Cobra, Silk Weaver Elite, Law Mages Binding, Kazandu Refuge, and the rare Sakashima the Imposter. 3 1 for 4. The Trinity Creature Human Rogue. As Sakashima the Imposter comes into play, you may choose a creature in play. If you do, Sakashima comes into play as a copy of that creature. Except its name is still Sakashima the Impostor, I like that. It's still legendary and it gains pay two and two blue, return Sakashima the Impostor to its owner's hand at end of turn. And, oh, nice one, Supreme Verdict, another rare here. 
Sorcery for four, Supreme Verdict can't be counted, destroy all creatures, and a foil, Celestial Dawn. Look at that blinding foil, fantastic. So some very tasty pulls today indeed. Leave a note in the comments what you think was your favorite. And I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.